So, example number 1. 2, 4. 3, 4. 4 and 6. At saka 5 and 8. Hello guys, magandang araw. Welcome sa ating panibagong random math topics. Sa araw na ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano i-identify kung ang given, ang given is function or not from different representation, which is the table, set of points, mapping diagram, and yung graph. But before we proceed, kung paano natin i-identify kung function or not, let us define first what is a function. Function is a correspondence between two sets of elements such that with each element in the first set, there corresponds only one element in the second set. The first set is called the domain and the, sec and the set of all corresponding elements in the second set is called the range. Ang ibig sabihin is kung ano daw yung uh, value ng ating uh, first set, therefore, uh, mag-correspond din siya ng single value into the second set. Or yung kailangan sa value ng ating domain is isa lang, then mag-correspond siya ng kahit ilang value sa range. So, para mas lalong maintindihan, proceed tayo sa unang representation, which is the table. So, example natin. X and Y. Yan yung value ng X and Y natin. X natin is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 5. Yan yung value ng X natin. And the value of Y is 2, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, ang tanong, identify if the given table is a function or not. So, tulad nga ng sabi ko kanina, para malaman kung ang given table is function or not, kapag ang value ng x is hindi na ulit, not unlike sa value ng y. So, since ang value ng x natin dito or yung ating first set or yung domain natin is uh, hindi na ulit which is negative 3, 1, 2, and 3, 5 walang na ulit the given value therefore itong ating table is function so yung value ng y uh, nakadepende lang tayo sa value ng x or yung value ng ating domain another example x and y negative 3 0 negative 3 2 and 3 then same value ng, ng y which is this so identify if the table is function or not so since let us focus on the value of x. Negative 3, 0, negative 3, 2, and 3. Since naulit isang beses yung value ng x natin, which is yung negative 3, therefore, ang ating given table is not a function. Kahit na naulit yung value ng y. Basta, paulit din yung value ng x, so it means that the given table is not a function. So, ganun lang mag-identify sa table. Next naman is yung set of points. Set of points or yung ating sinasabing ordered pairs. So, example number 1. 2, 4. 3, 4. 
4 and 6 at saka 5 and 8 tandaan natin sa set of points this represent as the x and y value so ibig sabihin yung first first na number dito yan yung x natin and yung pangalawa yan yung y natin so since uh, sinasabi ko nga para ma-identify mo focus ka lang sa value ng x kung maulit ba siya or hindi so this is our x values so 2, 3, 4 and 5 so since walang naulit na value ng x therefore ito siya ay function Okay, so next example, set of example. We have negative 1, 2, 0 and 2, negative 1 and 3, and 1 and negative 3. So again, focus only to the value of x. Value ng x natin is negative 1, 0, negative 1 and 1. So, since merong dalawang na ulit na negative 1 dito, our given set of points is not a function. Okay? So, next tayo is yung sa uh, mapping diagram naman natin. Mapping diagram. So, sa mapping diagram, meron tayong value ng domain and range. So, first example, we have domain and range. So, set of points ng domain. Set of points ng range. Example natin is negative 2, 0, and 2. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, set lang natin yung mapping natin. So, dito naman, focus lang tayo sa value ng domain natin. So, kapag yung value ng uh, value ng domain natin is corresponds or dalawa, dalawang beses siya nag-correspond sa given value ng range so that means na hindi function ating uh, mapping diagram pero kapag yung domain naman natin is uh, isang beses lang siya nag-correspond sa kahit dalawang beses ng value ng range natin uh, matatawag natin siya na function so let us focus on our example so since Itong value ng domain natin na 0 is dalawang beses nag-correspond sa value ng range. So, it means na ang ating given uh, mapping diagram is not function. Kasi nga, dalawang beses na ulit yung value ng 0. Another example. Domain and range. One, two, and three. One, two, three, and four. Okay. The domain is negative two, zero, one, two, and three. And the range is one, two, three, and four. So, focus to the value of domain. The domain is corresponds, lahat ng tag single value ng domain is nag sa ating value ng range. Kahit na naulit or yung value ng domain, the different value of domain is nag sa single value ng range, ang tatawag natin siyang function. Kasi nga, yung domain natin is, uh, uh, ano ito, hindi naulit. So therefore, this uh, mapping diagram is a function. Ganun lang siya. Okay, and next is kung paano naman natin i-identify sa given graph. So, meron akong ibibigay na dalawang example ng graph. Sa, sa pag-identify naman sa graph is meron tayong tinatawag na vertical line test. So, 
Unang example. Unang example is if meron kayong graph na ganito. Ang form. It is a function or not. So, lagyan natin ng mga vertical line test. Yung ating graph. So, nag nag-intersect sa mga points na ito yung ating vertical line test so if ang vertical line test is nag-correspond into one single point ng, sa ating kumbaga tumama sa graph ng isang beses lang matatawag natin siyang function so this is a function another example So, lagyan natin ang vertical line test. So, since ang vertical line test is nag-corresponds or nag-intersect ng dalawang beses sa ating graph, matatawag natin siya na not a function. Ganun lang siya kadali. Sa graph, kapag isang, uh, isang beses lang mag-intersect sa given graph, ang ating given graph is function. Kapag dalawang beses naman mag-intersect or magtatama yung ating vertical line test sa ating graph. So, that is not a function. So, that's all for today. Huwag niyong kalimutang mag-like, comment, subscribe. Hit ang notification bell para magiging updated kayo sa mga upcoming videos natin. Thank you for watching.